Hello people, welcome to a different video today. I'm on the way to pick up a, like a small computer that I found on the Facebook marketplace for around where he has listed it for $500 and I got it down to $350. And we're gonna see if it is actually a good Apex computer. That's what, I'm, that's what I want to get it to run, you know. So let's see what we get. I already know the parts that are in there. It's not the newest of the newest. Like he bought the PC for $600 from a dude and the dude told him that the PC was new like a brand new PC and the guy didn't know anything about computers so I asked him if he could open task manager just so I can see what kind of CPU and stuff is in there um, until I figured out hey that thing is like it has an i7 2600 in there 16 gigs of RAM and a 1050 Ti and I figured yeah that's, that's actually not such a bad price so I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna pick it up for $350 and let's see what we can get out of it. So I give you an update on the way and I will tell you how it goes. I'm currently on the way to the uh, bank to pick up the money for the computer. And to come back to the, the owner said it was like a new gaming PC. So it only had an i7-2600 in there, okay, which is... A CPU that got released in 2011. It's gonna get a little bit loud right now. Because we are going on the highway. So, an i7-2600, nowadays, it still has a good amount of performance. Uh, we're gonna see, we're gonna also make uh, Cinemage benchmarks and what else we, we can do the regular benchmarks you know we can run through all of them and see what the computer can do um, but what I saw it's actually still a pretty good platform to game with it's a 4 core 8 thread like every other i7 other than the new ones they have like 6 core and I think they have 6 core and 12 threads I'm not sure and what I was reading you can also overclock this i7 even though it doesn't have a K on it so I want to see if that motherboard is able to do that I already researched the motherboard which is like it looks old it's like a green Intel motherboard Damn, that thing looks old as crap I mean it got released in 2011 of course it looks kind of old so it's gonna be interesting to find out if that thing actually can overclock my guess is probably not. I'm not that worried about the 1050 Ti. It should actually be able to play games on medium settings at 1080p. But we will also figure that out as soon as I get it home. The computer is around 30 minutes away. So after I pick it up from the bank, the money, not the computer. I will be driving for a little bit before I get it. Okay, so I'm at the bank now. I'm gonna pick up the money and then I'll be right back. Okay, back from the bank, got the money. Now it's time to drive over there. Let's hope it doesn't take too long. Okay, I got like, I think it's like three or four minutes left. So I'll be right there. I will be there around 10 a.m. So that's pretty good. That's exactly what I told them to be. Got some city traffic right now. And a nice Focus ST in orange. Yeah, I have like a janky ass, my janky ass holder right here is a tripod laying on my chair. It looks kind of funny, but it works. It's pretty stable too, it just shakes a lot. Oh 
nice roads. Oh, Jesus Christ. Whee! Yeah, I don't want to live here. Nope. Those roads are too bumpy for my car. Jesus Christ. But we're almost there. We've got almost reached our destination. Just gotta turn. Oh, we'll be on the left. She just said it. What the fuck is he doing? <laughs> okay! He just did that. He almost drove into me. That was funny. Like he had to turn right and he turns in the middle of the street as if he's the only car on the whole road. Okay, let me see if I can find it. I guess we will see us as soon as I'm done with this. Okay, we got the computer. Um, it's right here. I'm gonna of course show better video material later on. But that's what it looks on the inside for right now. I don't even know if you can see that. Let me just drive home real quick. Hey, here we are now at home. As you can see me, hello, I'm in the background. I didn't open it up yet. So we see we have an aftermarket cooler right here, which is actually pretty big. Um, we got 16 gigabytes of RAM. Let me just open it up and let's look inside. Okay, it looks a little dusty. I know this is a 1050 Ti. Okay, it's an MSI brand 1050 Ti. That's probably the newest thing in the whole case. Then I don't know what kind of power supply it is, but it's definitely a pretty colorful one. We have one, two, uh, three, four, five, six fans. So we definitely got enough fans in this computer. What brand are those? Apevia. I have never heard of that brand before. But what I can see is we have, let me go down here. We have three SATA devices connected. So. I'm wondering how many hard drives are in this case. Probably three of them because it doesn't have, as you can see, this is the Corsair uh, Carbide Air 240. It's a Micro ATX case or M80X. And this is a Micro ATX motherboard from 2011. As you can see, it is green and shit. So it's, it, it has its age. Uh, let's turn it around and see what's on the other side. So the case itself is actually a pretty good case. And uh, as you can see, you can remove the top, you can remove the sides, you can re even remove the bottom. He has a Wi-Fi card as well. Let's open it up and see what's on the other side. Okay, it looks like... Damn, what is that brand? It's not... It's definitely a semi-modular power supply. I don't remember what the brand was. I think... Was it... Fractal design? I don't know if Fractal design has that case. I, I will find that out in a second. It will probably pop up in the screen already. Ooh, and what do I see here? We have a 120 gig SSD and it looks like two, you cannot see that, two Western Digital hard drives. I don't know how much space they have. I cannot see that. Okay, they are pretty small. The one is 250 gigs. The other one is probably the same. I'm gonna get them out in a second and then I will check it out. But first I will start it up and see inside. I'll be right back. Here we get the computer. I have everything plugged in, mouse, keyboard and power. Now let's see what happens. Okay, it definitely lights up blue. Let's see if it posts. Okay, it does post. Let's try to get into the BIOS. Okay, here we are on the BIOS. Oh, wow, you can actually see that pretty good. Um, we have an i7-2600 at 3.4 GHz. We have... Oh, you can not overclock the CPU, I guess? Onboard devices. Okay, we cannot overclock the CPU. I might be able to find a way, but I mean 3.7 GHz is not too bad. So we have one Kingston, we have two Western Digital, both have 250 gigs. And then, um, okay, I might need to put my glasses on because I'm sitting too far away. Okay, Windows 10 is installed. User, interesting, okay. What we got? We got Discord, Epic Games, okay, cool. Um, so the guy didn't, don't, don't know anything about computers. Wow, even the clock is wrong, holy smokes. Uh, let's see what we got. What is that? Okay, it's starting Discord now. Okay, so it does not show the two hard drives. Let me see in disk management if we can find out why. Okay, there we got one and there we got the other. They are unlocated, so he had those hard drives in there, but they were not even um, 
installed. There we go. Now we got both hard drives here. 232 gigs. I mean, those hard drives, shit. They are probably old as crap. We got the SSD, which is almost full. Okay, he does have updates to do. Probably some BIOS updates too. I will check that out in a second too. I guess I will set this computer up and then I will be back later with all the benchmarks and stuff. So we are now up to date. I also did the latest BIOS update, which surprised me because it is actually, let's go into a ZPUZ real quick. It came out last year in October. Which is kind of crazy, I think, for the motherboard coming out in 2011, which by the way was also the last BIOS update that was done on this motherboard, was in 2011. So now we are all up to date. We got everything up to date. Got the graphics card installed. Here you can see 1050 Ti. We got the newest Nvidia driver installed. Here's the CPU, just a regular 2600. I also found out I cannot overclock it, which is, I mean, it's all right. It still is pretty fast. So here we got hardware monitor open. On the stock fan that is on here, we have around 40 degrees to 50 degrees the highest it reached 51 on idle we, we literally didn't do anything like there's probably not much running in the background right now nope not really so now i'm going to cinebench this whole thing i mean for a how old is that thing now it's almost 10 years old let's say eight nine nine years old and it still is performing pretty well compared to nowadays cpus i wish i could a little bit overclock it because i do have a water cooler um, an all-in-one water cooling which i wanted to put on but i guess it doesn't make any sense right now let's see what our temperatures say by the way okay we had 60 degrees which is not bad it's still pretty quiet i also found out the case fans that are installed here they they have fan connectors but the motherboard only has one fan connector of course so we cannot control the speed of them. So they always run on, I don't know, some speed. It's not really fast, but it's also not slow. So you can definitely hear it. And we have actually a lower score than before, but only not by much. So it's 611, 617. Let's see what the OpenGA test does. I mean, yeah, we all know the screen. It runs, it's smooth. Um, I cannot really say much about it. It looks a little bit slow motion, but that's all right. Oh yeah, the, the, he was a little bit struggling over there. Damn. Okay, so what is our total score? Let me guess, like 60 something. Yeah, 67, 56. I'm gonna get Origin real quick because this is still... I wanted to get Apex running on this thing, so I'm just gonna download Apex on this real quick. And then I will be right back in game. Okay, I got Apex downloaded and I have MSI Afterburner right here. Let me just see this real quick. Uh, video, what we got, 1080p, okay, okay, it's putting everything on high. Let me see how it is when we put everything on medium. I heard the, this is like the worst point right here, because we can see the whole map. As we can see, we have 43 FPS right now. We had 63 degrees CPU and 57, okay, All right, he wants to go down there, we go down there. Okay, we have 50 FPS, I think a little bit of tweaking might actually... I have no gun. Yeah. Let me find a speaker real quick and then I'll be right back. We are back, we have some sound. Let me go to the menu and change a little bit. So we get... Almost 60, yeah, then we got 60 FPS, so we are at almost 60 FPS. Okay, he's walking that direction, he's walking that direction. I don't really know where to go, so uh, I have no idea. It does run pretty smooth. The CPU is at 72 degrees Celsius, so I think I'm still gonna put the water cooler on it because that should cool it down a whole lot more. The graphics card is at 65 degrees. And it's 98% used, so yeah, the graphics card is definitely used all the way right now. But yeah, I think um, if something else happens, I'm gonna put it in here. But that should be pretty much it. So I'm still gonna change out those fans because you cannot change the speed. But even though I'm, I'm gonna put fans in that you cannot change the speed anyway. Hey, we are back. I don't know when it stopped recording, but it definitely did stop recording now. Um, not used to that gun. Reloading. Grenade, watch out. Reloading. 
Oh. Oh, shit. You threw that one too long. Oh, shit. Okay. Okay, we had 75 CPU temperature right now. So it's definitely still going up. Which is understandable since the fans are not changeable, so they just run. Okay, one to run. Oh, reloading would help. I thought it did that for me. But we still had a constant 60 FPS, so that's pretty good. It's definitely Jesus Christ. It's definitely uh, playable. So I would say that's a successful Apex computer right here. I think that was it. Uh, if you like this video, give it a like, and uh, we will see us in the next video. And until then, bye!